Well, St. Patrick's Day celebrations have been going on all day. And well into the night, I assume, as many of our restaurants and bars, boy, they are simply thrilled to be open this year for the big holiday. It's because we mentioned a year ago today that Iowa bars and restaurants had to close down all across the state. With that in mind, let's go live right now to KWW reporter Diego Hernandez. Diego is live for us in downtown Waterloo right now after talking with some bar owners about how they are handling the holiday this time around. Well, I'm at Jameson's Pub, and it was exactly one year ago on St. Patrick's Day when business here had to shut down. But this year on St. Patty's Day, there is a pretty decent-sized crowd inside, and the staff was ready to welcome everyone in to celebrate in green again. It's been a long time since we've had a good number of people in here. Restaurants and bars planning to celebrate St. Patty's Day as safe as possible. As much as we would like to socially distance, um, we have a feeling there's going to be a lot more people so uh, to them to be able to do that. But yeah, we want people to come out and, 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 and do what's safe and comfortable for them. For some, there's no worry at all. We talked to a couple folks who are fully vaccinated. Just have a good time. We're friends. We come every year over here. Jameson drinks some Jameson beer and have a good time. We're going to head down to a couple other bars yet today. Just get out and enjoy the day. Over at the Brass Tap in Cedar Falls, they are taking a somewhat different approach. While there aren't any restrictions on businesses, the owner wants a safe experience for all this holiday. We are providing a free masks for anybody that come in. We still are doing cleaning of touch points. We are still providing social distancing. As many enjoy their Irish staples and green beer, the ability to spend time with family and friends again was appreciated the most. It's nice to get back out and do things like this again. And since Governor Reynolds lifted all of the restrictions on restaurants and bars, they can now stay open late. And even though St. Patty's Day fell on a Wednesday this year, Jameson's Pub in Waterloo is planning on staying open until 2 a.m. Live in Waterloo, Diego Hernandez, New 7 KWWL. Diego, thank you very much. By the way, of course, we shouldn't have to tell you this, but a reminder, if you aren't out there tonight, be safe and responsible because the Iowa State Patrol says agencies across the state, of course, are on high alert tonight. They'll be looking for impaired drivers on St. Patty's Day.